Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to describe their relationship in place value positions. At the end of this video, you will have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. In today's lesson, we will look at how each place value compares to one another. We will work with numbers into the hundred thousands place. A tool that is going to be very helpful with this skill is a simple place value chart. This tool is often provided for students. If it is not, it can be quickly sketched. When working with a place value chart, there are simple rules about moving from one place value to the next. If you look at this example, you have 8,000 in your thousands place. Knowing that the ones place has a value of one, the tens place is made up of 10 ones, the hundreds place is made up of 10 tens, the thousands place is made up of 10 one hundreds, and so on. The place to the left of 8,000 will be 10 times that value, and the place to the right will be one tenth of 8,000. We can continue to look at this chart and state that the hundred thousands place is 100 times as much as 8,000. The tens place is one one hundredth of 8,000 and the ones place is one one thousandth of 8,000. We used 8,000 as an example and a starting place, but these rules are true for any number placed onto the place value chart. The number to the left is always 10 times greater and the number to the right is always one-tenth of your original number. Using this chart, we can make the following statements. 800,000 is 100 times greater than 8,000. 80,000 is 10 times greater than 8,000. 800 is one-tenth of 8,000. 80 is one one-hundredth of 8,000. And eight is one one-thousandth of 8,000. The last problem we looked at, we really analyzed one number compared to all other place values. Another type of problem that students may encounter with this skill is a fill in the blank sentence to make true statements comparing place values. For example, to fill in this sentence, 300 is one tenth of blank. It is important to remember our previous place value chart rules and rely on the chart for help. If you place 300 in the chart under hundreds, we are looking for a number that 300 is one tenth of. Since in a place value chart, the number to the right is always one tenth of a certain number, we will have to look one to the left to get our answer 3000. Let's look at one more example to fill in a sentence. 400 is blank times as much as four. Using the place value chart, you can see if we place the number four in the ones place, we know the place to the left is 10 times as much and the hundreds place or two places to the left is 100 times as much. Therefore, 400 is 100 times as much as four. A very common error that occurs when solving these types of problems is related to the sentence being misread or misunderstood. Looking back to this problem, we know the answer is 3,000, but many students will answer 30. The misconception here is not reading carefully. Students will often pull out the two numbers, 300 and 1 tenth, and go from there. To address this problem, have students use the place value chart to justify or prove their answer. Another common error that can occur is when students relate multiplication and division to find the relationships. This skill on its own is fine, but students may divide instead of multiplying or multiply instead of dividing. To address this error, once again, use the place value chart to prove the numbers to the left are getting larger and therefore you should multiply to get there. On the other hand, the numbers to the right of the chart are smaller and you should divide to get there. For more practice with this skill and to reinforce the values on the chart, have students draw quick pictures of a one, then group 10 ones to show a group of 10, 
then show 10 tens as a group of 100 and so on. Looking ahead, we will rely on place value to represent numbers in different ways and lay the basis for multi-digit multiplication. To extend this concept, you can try out the fill in the blank type questions with larger numbers. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of the place value, multiplication, and expression set of lessons. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.